In this video, you probably have already celebrated Easter Sunday. I'm at my parents' house doing Easter Sunday, and guess what? I'm gonna go check out my dad's mystery tackle box. When I was a kid, when he would go to work, I'd get home from school. I used to come out here in the shop and like just go through all his tackle. So I'm gonna, I got my own kind of little mystery tackle box here. They have all these old tackle boxes back here. A lot of really cool stuff. And I used to kind of like just slide his stuff into my tackle box. See, look, dude, look at all these old boxes. All this old stuff back here. Let's check it out, see what's in here. See, this is what I'm talking about. Check that out. Some old handmade plugs in here. What is that? Old jerk gates. Shag wraps in here. Dude, this is the ultimate mystery tackle box right here. Look at this. I got more stuff over here. Now we're, since I'm 36 years old now, I can't really get away with sliding stuff into my box like I used to. Old jigging spoons. Dude, look at that thing. An old pose. RC3. All kind of interesting stuff in here. Look at that. It's another old pose. If you're old school from the 90s, you remember that. That's the RC. This must be, it was two of them. It's RC2. This is a shallow diver. RC1. And this is the RC3. It's a little bit bigger right here. RC is for Rick Klum. So yeah, this is another bait that we had back in the day right here. This is called Whitey. That's an old top water bait that we used to use. This is just like the precursor to the, the Sammy 100 120s, stuff like that. All kind of goodies. And Pops Mystery Tackle Box. So yeah, pretty neat stuff, right? Well, the real Mystery Tackle Box, please stand up. A couple months ago, um, they sent me a box and was like, hey, Brian, we want you to make this cool deal. Take a box uh, from Shop Curls. If you guys have ever used Shop Curls, it's a website. It's got every piece of tackle that you could ever need. Sent me a box from Shop Curls, and we want you to do a fishing trip on it. And that's what I did. So check it out. Lake Jackson in Florida. This is a really, really cool trip. One of my favorite trips of all year. We went way back in the woods, and it was this lake way stuck back in way back yonder. It was the coolest fishing trip that I've had all year long, fishing with one of my buddies. So check out the description box, shopcarls.com. You'll see all the baits that I use in this video right here. You're gonna love this video, I promise you. We have fun, we talk junk to each other, we talk smack, it was just, check it out, right here. I'll show you look down the dirt road here I mean like it's we're out we're out in the middle of nowhere I mean there's literally a dirt road down here heading to this lake there you go boat ramp road this way to the promised land well actually this way right here I'm gonna start rigging tackle right away this is what I've got I've got a whole bunch of stuff that I ordered for the FLW tour from shopcarls.com and I also have this month's mystery tackle box. So we're gonna look and see what's in this box, see what's in here. I've got a lot of goodies. You see there? A lot of stuff in here. I've got chatter baits. I've got a chatter bait in there. We've got jigs. We've got soft plastics. We've got literally everything. We got a couple top water baits. Probably give that guy a zing around too. No, we got swim jigs. I think we got everything we need to catch a few fish in here today. So I'm gonna start breaking this box, uh, break it apart, tie some of this stuff on, and get ready to catch some bass today. Cam's gonna be working the camera for us today. What's Say hello, Cam. How are you, Cam? Then my buddy Clay is over here. He's still gathering tackle over there. He came in. Where'd you come all the way from, Clay? Came all the way from Bradenton, Florida. Bradenton. Bradenton, yep. All right. Bring it on, son. Let's go. Yeah. Get yeah. that stuff in this boat. 
Bring you you bring in the toilet paper? Yeah, I gotta bring the toilet paper. Bring the toilet paper. Why we need toilet paper? I don't know, man. You never know. You never know. You gotta hook it right here. Oh god. Make one bad cast and you're miserable for. Yeah, it's, it's, it's... Oh, oh, got it. That's a giant, dude. That is a freaking giant, dude. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> got the day started, dude. Look at the head on that thing, dude. Look how big. They're post spawn here, dude. Already spawned out. There's no doubt that fish is already done spawning. God, <laughs> God, on the prop bait. That prop bait, the reason it works so well this time of year, like the fish are kind of, even though it's warm, it's like 70, I don't even look at the water temperature, it's probably in the 70s. But they get kind of lethargic when they're trying to bed or they're finished spawning. You really got to kind of aggravate them. He jumped up there and got him. Well, dude, look at that. Yeah, it's, it's a, a freaking, freaking bluegill. It's bluegill. the size of your hand. Dude. Okay. What we need to do is get a swim jig. I'm gonna try to get a swim jig that, that'll match this thing right here. Yeah, that's freaking I had one fairly close. See how he's really dark? Doesn't have much right. in him. I got this Trash Master jig. It's gonna be a little dark like it is. That's, that's fairly close. But I could work on a different colored trailer. Try to get that guy to match. Just like that is, and we probably can catch a few on it today. He's pretty. But I caught that guy on the prop bait. Don't know what brim are doing trying to eat a prop bait like that. He swallowed it or swallowed it. Yeah. Oh no! Two, two! That's a hey, Clay, Steve Clay, Steve Clay, Clay. Clay. Oh. <laughs> Dude, I gotta go over no, there and get that one. Are you serious? <laughs> dude, I ain't gonna let you win, dude. I am not gonna let you win. Look. It wasn't look. tied for one second. Like, <laughs> I can't let him win. Look how much look how much bigger than mine. Oh, Way more booty. On. Look, look at that. That one's built just like you are. <laughs> long as, <laughs> as if look. I'm built and long and buffed how out, about right? This one? I ripped a hole in his mouth. That's probably was already there. <laughs> it was already there. <laughs> Dude, I gotta go get another bait. I ain't gonna sit here and talk to you about this. I gotta go get another bait. That's fun. Texas rig valve bug with a half ounce tungsten sinker on there. Dude, I believe they're bedding in those pads. Cause the way that you see the pads are like in little bunches. See, like it's a little group, then nothing. A little group, and then there's nothing. It's probably a little sandier bottom in those places. A little harder bottom, um, and that's why those fish you can catch several. We saw we just caught three out of this one group of pads right here. And the reason they do that is just because there's there's probably a little different bottom composition there. That's what they relate to when, they, especially then, this time of year when they're trying to spawn. Video comes out. Ah. Ryan two clay zero. Did you see how I brought him out of there? Did you see how I brought him out of there? That's how you bring him out of there. Look, look, this was a large mouth when he bit. Now it's a small mouth. I hit him. I hit him so hard that now it's a daggum small mouth. You see, he had bars on him, and now they're just like he's all brown, and he don't even look the same as he did when he bought. Did you, did you replay that? We we'll have to do a replay so he can study that. Okay. Oh, dude. On the trash master. Oh, oh, yes! 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 That was good, man. You can't even get up. You gotta get a picture now with the trash master. That's a big, that's a good one. That's a good one.
This is why I moved to Florida. Oh Seriously. my God. This is why I moved that to Florida. That is a freaking giant, dude. <laughs> basically Texas rig your plastic when you're putting it on the jig but with Elastec it can be a little hard to screw lock a, a bait on so what you need to do is just kind of make yourself a, a little hole with the plastic what I do is just take the hook and then just kind of you know just waller you out a hole that's called wallering when you make a hole like that that's called a waller so you kind of waller out a hole or bore a hole in your plastic and then what that does is allow that screw lock to have somewhere to, to, to kind of fit in there Kind of a short screw lock and you can run it up on there a lot easier because if you don't do that it's just going to want to back out on you and then there you go that's it texas rig it and it just comes through those weeds really good different bait we had to kind of ease out here on the edge fishing some of these isolated pads now this fish should be spawning around these things but we just hadn't connected with that bigger bigger bass that bigger specimen all right clay this is your chance to come back i broke off and i'm down here retying i hope you can you got your your chances the only way you can catch up is while i'm down here in the floor retying so you better get at it you got about 30 seconds <coughs> Yeah, this is your opportunity. You're up there hung up. Forty-five more seconds. You better, you better make make good of this opportunity. Because <coughs> when I retire, dude, it's gonna be. I'm coming through like a. I don't know what I'm coming through, but I'm coming through like something. I'm gonna switch base to this little. This is a little stick bait that they put in my Mr. Tackle box this month. Giant. Giant. They're chomping on the little vial bug today. Seven. seven. Maybe I should pick up. Seven. Seven. Killing them, baby. Huh? What? Do you even want to fish anymore? Yes, I'm still fishing. You do want to fish anymore? Do, do you, you, no, you need to give up. Oh, you should give up. You should give up. Daylight is still here. I'm not giving up. That might be him, dude. That might be him. Oh, it's, look at that. God. <laughs> it dude. looked like a tank, man. Dude, I thought that was going to be a freaking giant. He was pulling me back in the... <laughs> dude, I thought I had something for real. I did, too. I mean, I honestly thought I had Omega on right there. I had old biscuit. Hell, I had old chicken biscuit on. I thought that was gonna be mega. Sorry. This is one of the baits in the box. This is a three alt heavy metal tungsten uh, weighted swim bait hook with a little small willow leaf blade on it. This is that four inch exo swim swim bait bio spawn. Oh! You wanna get it? Oh! Hey! <laughs> hey! Yay! Hey. High five! <laughs> High five, buddy! High five! Great job, buddy! Great job! Let me power pole down! <laughs> Double tap! Double tap, power poles! <laughs> Great job! Hey! You feel good? Yes, now it is. Now How's it is. your self esteem? I feel much better. Now. Great hook yes, set. Thank you. It was. It was nine to four. Nine to four. And look, it never changed out of my right hand. Flip with the right, set with the right. Good to go. Uh, right thank you see right right here in front of us we got a lane these fish they use the lanes to to travel up and down so 
right here where we're fishing has got to be high percentage area so we're gonna kind of get over there in that lane and uh you can see it's a void it's like pads 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 and then it's just a straight lane it's nothing but a highway for those fish to move in and out they come in during the pre-spawn they go out after they post spawn there's always a little deeper water there there's gonna be a cleaner bottom so it's just a high percentage area so we're gonna really soak this area real good before we move on What was that on, dude? The frog. On the frog? Yeah. I didn't even hear him. Yeah, hit he it. just sucked it up. It's <laughs> a little hole right there. The oh, yeah, it's here, go ahead and talk. I did not I even. Got... I never even heard him hit the thing. So this was a popping frog, right? Yeah, right just yes, yeah, uh, popping perch. Yep, popping perch. Yep. Pop he just perch. sucked it in and a hole in the pads. Nice strike there. It's okay. It ain't that good. It ain't as good as yours, yeah. Brian. That pisses me off. That's fine. I would have. Uh, can I count the hook set? For no, one? you can't even count the hook set, dude. <laughs> Dude, get in the back. Get in the back, dude. Just get in the back. Just get in the daggum back, dude. Stole his fish. I stole that wasn't his. That was totally different. He probably didn't actually have a bite anyway. I don't think he actually had a bite. I didn't hear it. I didn't hear or see anything. Probably just a bad. It probably was just a bad. It was smoking him. Smoking him. I'm flipping it. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! I'm killing that butt, dude. Like every time I flip in a pad, it's like swag it. I'm still buzzing. Swag it. I'm killing them, dude. <laughs> Do you feel okay? Yeah, I'm feeling better. I'll let you know if I'm not feeling good. Take your buff off so the people can see. You need to keep Why do I need to see? I, they don't want to see a loser. They want to see somebody winning. I'm not. I'm not crying. All right. So this is what we're using here. The vowel bug. They sent that to me in the box. Just a little creature bait deal here. All I'll do is, uh, it's nothing fancy. Rig it in there. Got a little three alt jungle hook <clears throat> from owner. I'm not punching it through. We're fishing pretty heavy vegetation. So I'm not, I'm not actually pushing that hook through the plastic. I'm burying it in the plastic so I don't hang up as much. Flip, 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 bang. Brian only need three to catch back up. Yeah, but I, you'd have to like make me not catch one. Why you catch three? Well, that's obviously if we get somewhere where you're gonna catch three, I'm gonna catch like six. So at this point, I got Clay nine to three. I'm gonna give him nine to three point five. He set the hook on one that he thinks was a fish. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! God dang it! I did. He was on right there. I lost him on the damn Kissimmee. <laughs> Not a bite. Yes, it was. It was a... Once I catch this tenth one, we're gonna wrap this video up, okay? Number 10, it's mercy, it's over. We're gonna wrap this video up and get out of here. Let this guy get back to I don't know what Throwing we need down. to let him. I don't know what he he may not ever fish again, so check the link in the description box of this video. You'll see all of Clay's equipment for sale <laughs> on eBay. Kind of like the first thought I had too. Oh! Did you wanna hit it? Oh! Good job, Clay. Way to go, buddy. Cam, I'm telling you, the epic comeback is on way the way. Way to go, buddy. <laughs> way to get it done. <laughs> yes. Yes. See this? You know what number this is? What number? What is number is this? Five. Yeah, I think five. It's five. Five to nine, dude. Five. Good job, buddy. Thank you. Way to go. Thank you, Brian. You're oh, sorry. <laughs> don't let anybody tell you you can't do it. You can do whatever you put your mind to it. If nine. you believe it, you can achieve it. Hey, nine six. If you believe it, you can achieve it. That's nine five. Well, I said. How did you jump to six? I just cast. Watch. Nine five, dude. How are you gonna try to just jump like that though? He goes, that's nine nine six. It's twelve. <laughs> Thirteen. I think I got twenty two pounds today. <laughs> yeah, dude. Hey, hey. I know how to drill a nice extending that grass mats. When it's hot like this, you need to be careful with the board. You need to shave the board. This is a good one, dude. This is a good one, dude. <laughs> <laughs> we finally got a 
Oh my god, you my balls. Oh my god. <laughs> Wow. That's a big like one. You, we just said, dude, you just said, watch, we'll get bit in the mat now that it's, now that it's free. So we're, the front's coming in now and it's gotten really cloudy. We haven't gotten a single bite today fishing some of these Kissimmee grass mats. And I just looked at Brian and said, you know what, it's cloudy and these Florida fish do crazy stuff. Yep. First mat we get to, boom. Oh, there he is. Good point. That's a good one, too. Look how he spawned out is what's weird. What are they doing? Like post spawn getting in the mats Maybe. after it's after it's after they spawn? Maybe we'll let's punch a few more. The one thing I did notice, you see how the grass kind of got thin again? Yeah. You see how there's no more like it got it loosened if there's more voids here. Let me get my old punchy boo-boo out. Come here, punchy boo-boo. Punchy boo-boo. Go in there and hit me. Hit it. What you do i do what i do when i come out here I like it i'm a man of my execution Ooh. can we can we name a bait after uh your middle execution name execution is going to be the name of my name executioner execution no just execution. The, the execution just execution number 10. Lose it. yes number 10 game over game over yeah! game over game over number 10 Game over! Game over! Yes! You couldn't even knock it off. You tried to knock it off and still couldn't have given it to go off. Number 10. Game over. This has been fun. You guys, the obituary for Eric Clay Baxson will be posted in the link. As in the link in the description box of this video. The funeral will be in Florida at whatever it is, Lake Jackson, Florida. He was a great guy, just wasn't that great of a fisherman on the day. Seriously, this has been a lot of fun. Guys, shopcarls.com, go check it out. They got every bait you need there. You can see we caught fish on just about everything we had in our box today. We used stuff from a mystery tackle box. We used stuff from shopcarls.com. They got everything you need to do to catch fish no matter what part of the country you live in. Florida, South Carolina, East, West, Coast, South. It doesn't matter where you come from. You live in Australia, they got something for you for there too. So, this has been a lot of fun. This is my boy Clay. It was a great day for real. It was a really, really great Absolutely. day. Um, couldn't have been even better. Get down here to Florida. This place is a fish everywhere. We've been, I've been lake hopping. I've been pond hopping. We fished a tournament here. It was awesome. Number 10. I'm going to let him go. I am the champion. <laughs> <laughs> Brian, you loud.